Good morning YouTube, welcome back to another track guide video coming live as always. Well, not as always from the same circuit, but just live anyway. We are here at Deep Forest Raceway in the Europe section of things. As always guys, I'm splashing! Also, Jane. Um, <laughs> today, again... Uh, I know it's been a while since we've done one of these videos, it's been uh, about a month and a bit. Uh, I do want to apologise for that, it has been quite chaotic in the last couple of months um, and haven't really had time to do any of these, but we're back again today to do another track guide plus hot lap around deep forest in the Ford Mustang GT3 car and what the hell? Okay, so uh, there's, there's been a lot of different things that have been added to the game. That's cool. Uh, that's not what we needed. We need to go here. As always, guys, as you can see, nothing has been changed. What we will do, though, is we'll change that back to 290. After the uh, Nürburgring Nordschleife video, um, we had to change that. And now we're back to stock standard uh, racing setup. So... As you can see, there has been no lap times at all. Ah, you can change things. So, track temperature is 15 degrees. I'm pretty sure that's what track temperature is, or it just might be the uh, might be the weather um, degrees, <laughs> like how hot it is outside, roughly. I don't know. And then we've got surface water, which is actually quite cool. Uh, before we do run through, let's have a look at this. Uh, no. Play settings, it's pretty simple stuff. Sound settings, we have all the sound stuff now, that's cool. Ghost car, uh, we're not going to have that on because it's stupid. Event settings, tire wear right. Oh, so you can actually use tire wear and all that now in your in this, which is cool. Uh, shortcut penalty. Nah, fuck that. So yeah, as you can see guys, we have not done a lap around here yet. Uh, we did the Manufacturer's Cup. This was the first round of the Manufacturer's Cup. So, do have roughly an idea on, on how to do a lap around here in a very, very fast car, which we're going to do right for you today. Also, uh, this video was not uh, suggested this is just one that i was just wanting to do for a while um and i thought about it last night too maybe maybe doing a uh, track guide video plus a hot lap around here at deep forest which is what we're going to be doing for you today so here we go this is going to feel weird i haven't used my wheel in a long time here we go guys so Coming into the hairpin, this is the only time that I'd probably ever use first gear in the on any track. So a good exit out of the hairpin is crucial for the start of your lap. Um, we will demonstrate uh, a good exit. It varies on certain things of car positioning, car squareness and also acceleration out of the last corner as usually we are flat out through here. Coming down to the first corner now, roughly around the 100 meter board, that's where you want to start braking. Down to second gear now, turn it in nice and late, early apex though, and then power out, go all the way across the road to the ripple strip. Make sure you don't hit the grass on the inside because it will optimise your um, tyre wear if it's on, and also it will affect your understeer as well heading into that corner. As we go underneath the tunnel now, you want to take as much curve as possible, stay in second gear, Get as close as you can to the inside curb and then roll it out all the way out to the wall. Just before the, uh, actually on the ripple strip there, that's where you want to be braking. And then halfway over the bridge, brake hard for that corner as well. And then that exit is also a very um, crucial part to gain or lose time. Most of these corners are, so you have to pretty much. I've noticed too that this uh, track is very, um, can be very tricky to uh, to those new people coming onto the game. 
as we go through the hairpin. So just a little bit on the throttle too much there. You do want to hit first gear through there, and depending on your exits, uh, try not to get on and accelerate too much because we'll will spin. And we will demonstrate that during the hot lap. So coming up again to the first corner of the track as we hit six gear at three quarter throttle now. Just where the ripple strip is, that's where you want to start braking. Late turn in there for the apex. Lovely glide the car out wide. Coming over the hill now. Down the third gear here. Hit the ripple strip on the inside. You want to turn in so you can square it up for this corner right here. That's very crucial because if you if your uh, brake balance is off, you will um, oversteer, slide into that corner. As we come out of the tunnel now, close to the wall. Fourth gear, hit the ripple strip on the inside. As soon as you do that, you hit third power now down the second gear for the end of the bridge now up into the tunnel now taking the tunnel could be very very crucial as well too guys so you want to stay as close as you can to the walls so we hit sixth gear now where the 150 meter board is it's your braking marker there you just want to As you can see there, you, if you really, really want to, that's probably an optimised uh, and very, very perfect-ish way of coming out of the hairpin. So if you guys want to watch that again, uh, go right ahead and watch throttle percentage and all that stuff as we go a little bit quicker now. Down to second gear, late apex for the turn one hairpin. On the power early. Up over the ripple strip, the fourth, down in the third now. Take as much curve as you want there. Make sure the car's square for this corner here, down in the second. Turn in nice and early up over the crest, down in the second again. Under the bridge now. And the ripple strip on the right hand side. Slide the car through. I had to break a little earlier there because uh, we had a bit more speed than normal. So we're going to uh, give this one more crack before the hot lap just to give you a rough idea. As you can see I don't really want to push too hard too early for these laps. Actually if anything I'll probably slow off just that little bit. The next time around we're going to show you at pace of what it's like to go through. Um, that part of the circuit there uh, with the braking into the into the hairpin that will just ease off a little bit coming on now to the main straight at least six gear roughly around now ish again in the second late apex there as it goes all the way. It feels like it takes forever to get around that corner up to third now up to fourth. Square the car up for third. Got the car square for that corner there. Under the bridge now. Or one of them. Car just a little understeery just because it's not uh, going at pace here. Up to fourth and down to third once that ripple strips there. Over the bridge now. Alright, we're gonna do this in pace now and then we're gonna do the hot lap after this after this lap. So the very, very crucial uh, hairpin and braking zone uh, to optimize time around here. It is extremely hard to try and pinpoint exactly where you want to go so just after the 150 meters probably just a little too deep there but turning in as you can see it's turned in a little later than normal and it optimized the time a little bit so guys now this is where you get to enjoy a lap around here i'm going to shut up now so you can enjoy a hot lap around deep forest
So guys, probably not the best run through that uh, slow hairpin coming out of the tunnel at the back straightaway. Uh, did get on the brakes a little too early there, but uh, still, ended up squaring the car up a lot better than what I expected. I thought I was overrunning the corner for a second, then um, I noticed that I was coming up too slowly. So there is uh, a bit of moment of hesitation there whether or not to uh, to keep braking at my normal speed or just lift off a little bit and then go into that corner a little better, uh, which is what I managed to kind of do, but the exit was what I was looking for. It's, it's the exit that you're looking for. It's always the exit that you're looking for coming out of that corner. Uh, you have to be sure that the car is going to be square and it's going to grip. Once you start here and it over revved, that means you've just over committed, over -committed to the corner. And uh, it's very, very hard to recover a lap time if, if uh, you make a mistake out of that hairpin. So a bit, a bit of an unfortunate scenario on my end because uh, 150 was roughly where we normally start braking. But uh, yeah, it was just a little too slow on entry. But coming out of the uh, coming out of the corner was a lot better than what I expected. Guys, that is it. I hope you've really enjoyed that. Uh, it's not very, it's not much of a big video today, but um, there is going to be a couple of more of these dropping throughout the week. Uh, it is Wednesday here in Australia, so um, yeah, there will be a couple more. Maybe one tomorrow, and there'll be possibly one on Friday, and then there'll be one on Sunday as well. So. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun to do these again as we celebrate in style as always at the end of each time. And we did, just did a Will Davison, that's good. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> So, yeah, good times in the Bottle of Ford Falcon Mustang. Ford Falcon Mustang, Pfft, that makes no sense. And as always, guys, is it gonna do it today? No, the wheel doesn't do it anymore. That's, oh, hang on, it kinda did. There it is. <laughs> I don't know if you said that, but the uh, typical wheel, um, wheel vibrations happened again. But well guys, that is all for today. Thank you very much for tuning in and being patient with the uh, the lack of video that has been coming up in the last few weeks. Uh, but yeah, the next week or so is going to be crazy on the channel. I'm going to be doing some more of these very soon. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun getting back into the nick of things. Uh, also, a special announcement coming up on Twitter very shortly. Uh, not today, but once, once I actually find out on some certain things that are happening, then there's going to be a special announcement on Twitter about a certain W uh, T W I T C H website. So uh, look out for that. Uh, we're not too sure on what's happening just yet, so nothing's really been confirmed. I've kind of left everyone on a cliffhanger with my last post on um, on Twitter about it. So uh, a bit of a teaser but uh, nothing's confirmed just yet. So those people that are really, really wanting to know what is happening with Twitch, uh, just give me some time until I figure out what the hell is I'm doing and uh, we'll go from there. But again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in and being patient with me. If you've liked the video, please smash that like button. Don't smash your phone or your computer screens, but just smash that like button as much as you can. Subscribe because there's gonna be some more shit coming on in the next couple of days and the next week. Comment as well on a track that you guys want to see me do. We have done Bathurst, we've done Trial Mountain, we've done the shitty ass Willow Springs, and we've done the Nürburgring Nordschleife 24 configuration. So if you guys just want to see me do the Nordschleife itself, that is a possibility, and also the Nürburgring as well. So I've already done the combination of both, uh, and we are classifying the Nürburgring and the Nordschleife as two separate tracks as well. So if you guys want to just see those tracks, Please smash up the like button. Uh, please smash up. <laughs> well, please hit the comment section on if you want to see a specific track. But yeah, those five, including this one today at Deep Forest, are the ones that I've done so far. Guys, that's it. 
Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next video.